In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an email sequence inside Kajabi. So on the left hand menu bar, click on marketing, drop that open and click email campaigns. You'll see in our demo site that I already have some campaigns. You can select a sequence here. You can filter, this is how you can filter. You can filter by draft, scheduled, active, sent. So there's different ways to filter. But if you wanna start a new email sequence, uh, which you can see these are sequences that I've already created here. So if we filter, these are all the sequences. You would select new email campaign and instead of a broadcast, you would select an email sequence. Then you would title your sequence whatever you want to title it, which is a descriptor of what it is for so that you can keep tabs. You can use one of the templates that Kajabi provides to get started, or you can just use the classic editor. Then you'll be able to adjust the day and the time that it is sent, add your internal title, your subject, and the body. So if you want the email, the first email in the sequence to go out immediately when someone takes an action, let's say they opt in to your freebie, you would put day zero. You'll notice the time was removed on the right hand side. So if we do it at day one, they opt into your freebie, let's say Thursday at noon, then day one is going to send the email on Friday at the time that you choose based on, and it will tell you here, so we're in Eastern time zone, so it's gonna be based on the time zone that you've selected. So then you will have that. But typically in a sequence, you might have it go on day zero, the time is removed, and then you can do an internal title. Email one, maybe your telling what it's about, and then I like to include the call to action, download freebie. So, and you could say education on, and you could put that information in there so that they're, you're a little bit aware of like what you're educating on, and then I like to do the call to action. Then you would write your subject line, and you would write your email. Now the classic editor is set up like this, whereas other templates are set up more in line with how you build out landing pages and such. So if we save this test email, test email. So we save this. Now you can see that we have one email created. It's going to send out immediately and then we can add another email. So then you can again, pick one of the templates. You could pick a pre-designed template. You can always create your own template and then save that. But let's just pick one of these. We'll say email number two. And again, you can update that to have, again, what's inside the email, what your call to action is. And then we could even have this go out at 8 a.m. And you can also do a second email on the same day. You could do a third email and it could be day one at 4 p.m. So you can send multiple emails on the same day in the sequence, which is great, uh, especially for if you have deadlines in your funnels. Um, but then you, again, would title it appropriately, subject preview text, and then edit the content here. Here's where you can save as a template. So if you build uh, out your email and maybe you add a signature image and a custom signature, then you might wanna save this as a template so you can use it moving forward in each one. You can send a test email to yourself um, and then launch in email editor. So if you wanna edit, you can also just click edit content here and then you'll see this type is, uh, as opposed to the classic editor, this is gonna be a lot more like building out a landing page or a sales page where you can add sections, whether you wanna add a button like this, add text, you could add your social icons at the very bottom. So you can add those and then you click add and then they would be in there and then you can go edit them. 
So if you are building a signature with a signature picture and your social icons, you may want to save this as a template and then you can, you can start with the template with that custom signature for each email moving forward so you don't have to add your links every single time. Okay, but then you would just go in and, and you can uh, delete boxes or sections, you can hide them, you can duplicate them, and of course you can rename them, um, you know, whatever you want. Maybe you want it to be like, hello text, and maybe you want this text to be signature text just to help keep you organized when you are working through. Maybe you wanna move things around. So again, you just slide it up and down. And then you've got your footer, which has your unsubscribe um, on the email and you can adjust how that appears. So that is an example of using the other editor, using one of the Kajabi templates. And again, you can build out your own and consider it a template. So now we go back to the sequence and we can see that we have an immediate email and an email on day one going out at 8 a.m. and you can continue to build the sequence. You can add automations to each email, that's sort of next level to creating your sequence. So if you want to, once the email is sent, then you can take different actions. You could subscribe them to a different sequence. You could register them for an event. You can add a tag, um, various things. Or you can do, you can even change these if the email is opened or if the email, if something is clicked in the email and then you would select what link, there's no links in this, but you would select the link. Maybe they clicked on something to say they wanted to register for a class. They could click on it and then you could auto register them to an event. Or if they said they were, you know, click on one of the things you're interested in. If you set up an automation and they clicked on that link, then you could add a tag. Okay, they were interested in my health plan. Then you could add a tag and do that. Or you could put them in a, subscribe them to a different sequence. You could unsubscribe them from this sequence, subscribe them to a new sequence. If that feels way over your head, do not worry about it <laughs> right now. Um, we just click out because we're not gonna add anything. And then here, I don't have anything set up right now, but once you add an automation to when they get this, so for example, if they fill out a form, an opt-in, uh, if you automate that in the form, it will show up here or we can add it here. So when a form is submitted, and let's see if I have any test forms in here. So when the wait list is submitted, then subscribe them to the sequence, okay? You can add conditions. Maybe if they already have access to something, this offer, then you wanna exclude them. So there's lots of different things you can filter through here, but you don't have to have a condition and then you hit save. And now you will see that you have one trigger here. You can, this can also be set up in other areas in Kajabi. And if you set it up there, you will see it here. So I can see there might be multiple things that trigger getting added to this sequence. And then if you have an unsubscribe trigger, um, you know, maybe if they, um, once the email is opened, um, then unsubscribe them from this email sequence. And so this is our test sequence. So we're gonna save that. So now we see when open unsubscribe from the email sequence, and then we have one unsubscribe trigger now. So we can see that here. If you add automations in this section that pertain to this sequence, they will, you, they will then appear here as well. Um, we can see different settings. We can see the report information uh, that's more analytics than just what we're seeing here and how many people have subscribed. If you are interested in growing your email list with a lead magnet that actually grows your email list and leads to sales, then you'll want to grab the free gift linked below, our freebie idea generator. This is an AI prompt that is gonna come up with 10 easy to create freebie ideas that will attract the perfect buyer for your offer in just seconds. All you have to do is enter your name and your email hit submit and we'll send you the AI prompt that you can use for or any AI platform, ChatGPT, Claude, Jasper, and it will spit out 10 freebie ideas that are gonna be perfect to draw in your ideal customer that leads to a sale. 
Use the link below to grab this free gift. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips on branding, copy, and design. Want more? Check out this video next.